we know what the A does. The A does the amplitude. The amplitude is the absolute value of A. Bless you. So what does B then do? What's the purpose of B? Yes. B actually controls the period. The period is controlled by B. It's always 2 pi divided by B. So when I say, can you graph y equals sine 2x my period here is going to be what? It's going to be 2 pi divided by b and b happens to be 2 and that's pi. You know how before the sine x it took 2 pi to complete one full cycle? Now it's only going to take 1 pi. So when I graph that We know what the sine function looks like. It's going to look like this. But instead of this number now being 2 pi, it's going to be what? 1 pi. Because it takes 1 pi to complete one full cycle. How high does it go? To 1. Negative 1. That's my amplitude. So this is really pi over 2. Half that number. This peak is half of this. That's pi over 4. This point is halfway between this. Between a half and pi. That's, what is it? 3 pi over 4? Because you're going to cut into four pieces. That's the first one. That's the second piece out of four. The third piece and the fourth out of four. So the B controls how long it takes to complete one full cycle, which is the period. In this case, the period is pi. You really want to know that because if you're using graphing calculator, you need to know when you set up your X range from what minimum value to what maximum value you want to use. You need to know that. That's what the period tells you. Oh, you only have to go from zero to pi to see one full cycle. And if the problem was a little bit different, let's say I have y equals 3 cosine 1 half x. And I want to graph it. My amplitude is what? Is the absolute value of 3, which is 3. The period is what? 2 pi over b. What is b here? 2 pi over a half or 0.5. When you divide by a half, the same as multiplying by what? By 2. That is 4 pi. It's going to take 4 pi to see one cosine function. 4 pi. So what is the graph of that will look like? We know what the cosine function looks like, the karate kid. So this is going to start high.
What's the height here on the y-axis? Three and down here is what? Negative three. What's this value right here? That's a four pi. That means this one here is what? Two pi. This one, pi. This one, three pi. This is halfway, this is halfway here. This one halfway between two pi and four pi. So again, if I was to graph this on a graphing calculator, I need to make sure the x minimum is zero, the x maximum is set up at four pi. Otherwise, you're not gonna see it. I need to make sure the y minimum is negative three, the y maximum is plus three. Uh, let's try negative 2 sine pi x. Again, my amplitude is what? The absolute value of negative two, which is what? Two. My period is going to be what? Two pi divided by b. What is b here? Pi. which is two. So now the graph. It's a cosine function. But be careful, we have a minus sign. What is the minus sign gonna do? Oh, that's a sign, I'm sorry. It's gonna flip it, right? So it's gonna look like this. Instead of going like that, it's gonna be upside down. It's going to look like that. What's the peak value here in the y direction? Two down here is what? Negative two. What's this number going to be? That's a two, right? The period is two. What's this one then? One, zero. This will have to be what? A half. What's halfway between one and two? Three halves or one and a half? So now we know what the A does, we know what the B does. Now we got one more piece than we've done for the night. See? In our book, each one is one page, by the way. Some of you might cover that in Tech Math 1. I know I covered it in Tech Math 1 when I did the course. <laughs>